We're going to prove Young's Geometry Theorem 7, and the hard part of this proof was all done in Theorem 4, so you definitely want to check Theorem 4, the proof of Theorem 4 out, because all of the logic uh, is already there. So our proof just starts with let an arbitrary point exist, and uh, I'll fix this. This should be um, Theorem 1. We're allowed to pick up to four arbitrary points. Um, so I'll put that in in the uh, in the proof that's shared on GeoGebra Online. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Theorem 4. Uh, man, I left my justifications out of this proof, it appears. Construct uh, the four unique lines on P. That's by Theorem 4. And then we're going to let each of the four lines have their two additional points. right? So you can see that each of them is getting two additional points here in this step. And the important piece here is that none of the points that I just added, right? I added eight points, right? I added two points on four lines, and they can't simultaneously be on two different lines. For example, I can't have a line that does something like this. Why? Well, then with this point and this point, for example, um, that contradicts um, axiom four, which says that every two points, you know, this one and this one, there's only one line on them. Well, now I have this line on them and this orange line on them as well. So that's the problem. Um, and that's what I'm saying here. So the next step um, is that we know that there exist at least nine points, right? The uh, point P that we started with and the other eight. So we know there's at least nine. So while I didn't exactly set it up as two proofs, it's very much the same thing that we've been doing for a lot of things when we're trying to prove there's exactly this many, uh, prove that there's at least that many, and then use a proof by, con and that's usually just a constructive proof. Hey, let me construct something and show you there's this many. So that's what we did. We constructed some lines on a point P and showed that there has to be at least nine points. Now we're going to assume there is a 10th derive a contradiction and say, well, there can't be more than nine because if I have any more, I get a contradiction. So that's where we're at in this proof. We're letting uh, some arbitrary point X exist. Um, and then we're going to create a line uh, from the original point P. And so the key realization is that um, it can't lie, right? This point X can't be any of these other points. Um, and this line, the other point on this line, it can't be anywhere, right? If it connects back into any of these points, then I'm violating axiom two, uh, excuse me, axiom four again. So, so if that 10th point doesn't lie on any of the four lines, then this line, let me get rid of my scribbles, right? Then this red line here, is a fifth line, but that can contradicts uh, Young's axiom, uh, Young's geometry theorem four, since we can't have that contradiction, um, and we know that p was arbitrary. This result is going to hold for any point you pick in the geometry. You're going to have the four lines. You're going to have nine points, but if you have a tenth, it'll be a contradiction. Therefore, there are, must be exactly nine points in Young's geometry. And again, I apologize. Um, in the online proof, I'll add justification here, which is theorem one, and this justification is theorem four. So theorem one and theorem four, my apologies.